Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 25th video in VCP7 Data Center Virtualization 2020 and in this video I am going to show you how to backup and restore vCenter server appliance by using file based backup. So in last video which, which was part 24 we have taken, we have configured and taken the backup of the uh, our vCenter server appliance by using file uh, file based backup so let's let's review that so first uh, before reviewing that this is the my demo environment which we are using since last few videos so the first machine is win2k12 dc01 which is my active directory and dns server and this is my lab sense on domain dot com domain and this is my win2k12 dc01 active directory and dns server and you can see here win2k12 tc01 my domain name leftsandsound.com so this is my domain controller and second machine we got our INVCSA uh, 70 which is our VMware vCenter server appliance 7 which is joined in my domain so this is you can see our vCenter server appliance which is running inside the, v, uh, inside the VMware workstation 15 and we got three ESXi hosts, one to ESXi 0, 1, 0, 2 and 0, 3. So this is my infrastructure. We can see all three ESXi hosts and now I'm going to log into my console machine which is Windows 10. I'm going to show you our vCenter server and appliance and backup and then we will proceed with the backup and restore. So So this is my vCenter server where I have logged in and you can see I have my last file backup here and I got ESXi cluster and 3 ESXi host here so this is my VMware infrastructure and this is my VMware vCenter server management appliance so <coughs> so you can see here vCenter server appliance and this is my vCenter server appliance with running version uh, 7.0 and this is my build version and everything looks good on the home page and now let's go to backup and you can see we have four backup basically last two backup is created in my last video and the path was given here uh, SMB location on my vCenter uh, basically Active Directory Server so if I go to Active Directory Server we got our vCenter Server Backup folder and inside that we got our uh, vCenter Server FQDN and then we got our two backups so now I'm going to run a fresh backup and then we'll uh, try to restore it so uh, I'm going to click on backup now and then use the backup location and username from password schedule and I'm going to type my credential and encryption password which is most important so your backup is not going to be compromised and going to take the backup of stats event and task also so just click on start so I always recommend you to take the daily backup of the, your vCenter server appliance so in case you lost your vCenter server appliance or anything goes wrong or uh, bad with the services or any other issue which can impact your environment so this is basically vCenter server appliance is your backbone of your VMware infrastructure so you always want that to run um, with the with the basically uh, uh, all the time so in case anything goes wrong it, it can impact uh, all your infrastructure so I recommend you to go and schedule the backup and in case anything it can be recovered within one hour and definitely it's going to depend on the size of your infrastructure how much big your infrastructure how's the what is the size of database and everything but uh, mostly it can be recovered within one hour from the uh, from the backup to fully functional so you can see 18% 27% incompleted so now you can see here this is my basically folder where the backup is currently coming so I'm going to copy this path which I need to restore during the backup so if I go here this is the basically the path of the C drive where the file is located inside the windows but what we need we need this path which is SMB location path for the backup 
which we need to restore and if you don't have this path you always can create that path by using the share name and then vcenter all the paths so you can create this path if you don't have and might be your vcenter goes down so now what I'm going to do I'm going to shut down my vcenter server and then we are going to restore from the backup so going here and just click on shutdown so I'm doing the like uh, gracefully shut down uh, graceful shutdown for the vcenter server however it can be like uh, uh, let's assume your vcenter server is no more and you will not be able to power on it all. so any condition so just to give you example I shut down gracefully so now to restore the vcenter server uh, from the file based backup you need two things you need your ASXI uh, sorry your vcenter server appliance dvd or iso file which having the same version of the uh, build version which you are running on the vcenter server so i got those things so i'm inside the v vmware vcsa installation media and you can see here i'm going on vcsa ui installer and win32 and then i'm going to launch this installer file and when you launch the installer file you will see few options now you can see our vcenter server is powered off so you can see install upgrade migrate and restore so i'm going to restore from previous vcenter server backup so click on it and then you got introduction page so restoring vcenter backup from uh, from a backup is two step uh, stage process so first is deploy vcenter and then restore from backup so in this step you are going to basically deploy your vcenter server um, appliance on esxi host and in this phase you are going to restore the configuration from the backup so now click next and we have an end user license agreement so i accept the terms click next and here is the location or ip host for the backup so I'm going to uh, give this path for the backup where we have most recent backup so this is the path where we have a backup and username to access that backup share path and you can see here the deployment time uh, type is vcenter server and location is given here so just click on next and now uh, vcenter server deployment target so you need to type the esxi host where you want to deploy the esxi uh, vcenter server so i got my esxi01 address here and i'm going to type my credential root and password for root account to access it so yes certificate warning i accept it and now we got the name of the vcenter server so i'm going to type invcsa70 and the root password so i'm going to type my complex password here and click next and then we got the select deployment size so i'm going with the tiny option with the default storage click next and now we got our uh, storage where we want to provision this machine so I'm going to select the default one with the enable uh, thin and this mode so click next and now you can see the details like most of the time it's going to pick the IP address details by default if it's not taken you can give a new IP address uh, or the old IP address which you have before so I'm going to type the all IP address details here and then going to type the DNS as well so alternative DNS so this is the IP address configuration which I'm going to use so click next so it's basically reading the IP address now for the vcenter server appliance which we have click next and now you can see all the details here which we have gone through there during this stage 1 deployment now I'm going to click on finish so this will start the deployment so you need to review the all the informations here which we have provided 
and now click on finish and you can see stage 1 deploy vCenter server is started and it's initializing now I can log into our standalone ESXi host to just make sure the machine is getting deployed so deploying vCenter server so here you can see virtual machine we got our INVC S70 machines created but it's not powered on yet so it's going to soon power on uh, once the deployment is finished so we'll we have to wait for some time to get the deployment finished and start the virtual machine automatically so now you can see the uh, appliance is powered on and it's configuring few things post the power on the vCenter server appliance so now you, uh, this is going to take some time to get the all required RPM installation and configure the server to ready for the stage 2 so this is going to take another 5 to 10 minutes so we can uh, wait for some more time uh, till the time this backend configuration is running by the automatic um, a deployment wizard which we are using in restoring the virtual appliance so basically this stage one is going to be a common for everything like when you are deploying the brand new uh, vCenter server appliance or you are trying to restore from the backup the first stage is always going to remain the same which is stage one deploy vCenter server appliance so this is what it's running so now I'm going to pause again the video and once the this stage one is completed I'm going to resume from there so now you can see 90% is completed and it's running some other tasks like installed CSI uh, upgrade runner so soon this machine is going to be uh, ready to go for the stage 2 so now you can see restore stage 1 deploy vCenter server appliance completed successfully and we can go ahead and continue to the next step so click on continue and now we are going on a stage 2 so you can see our vCenter server appliance is deployed basically and ready for the stage 2 which is restored from backup so click next and you can see the backup details here like location uh, uh, share access username and password so I'm going to provide my encryption password so it's going to unencrypt the um, backups and it's going to validate the backup and now you can see the backup it's got the version detail backup timestamp and the system image name and description so this is the all information which we got from the backup and now it's giving us the warning like uh, shut down the original vCenter back, uh, server before you proceed to uh, to avoid any network conflict so we already have this machine powered off so we are good just click on finish so it's going to start the uh, restore configuration so once this is not be able to uh, once this is started you cannot uh, pause this or stop so I'm good with this so click OK and now you can see restore is in progress and restore job status restore data transfer is in progress so this is also going to take some time to get the all the database and other configurations restored and once the restore is completed we will be able to access our vCenter server appliance and our vCenter server both so let's wait for stage to be completed and then we will log in and verify the our vCenter server appliance and vCenter server server itself so I'm going to uh, pause the recording once again so now you can see this is to stage 2 completed the, so we can go ahead and close this window now and now you can see the uh, our appliance is also stable so now I'm going to log into vCenter server appliance first and then we will log into vCenter server itself so you can see we got the login screen so I'm going to type my credential for the appliance so everything is looking good here you can see the host name and other details and now I'm going to log into the vCenter server 
so your credential and everything is going to remain same because the it's restore the configuration also so I'm going to use my credential to log into vCenter server So now if I go to host and cluster, you can see we got our data center, we got our all ESXi host and the virtual machines also and our vCenter server appliance will be placed in discovered virtual machine so we can move it to like required folders. So this is good and also if you want to verify the like task and other details go to monitor and you can see the events has been also restored from the backup. So you can see all the task has been also restored so this is good thing. So we got our vCenter server appliance restored successfully. and you can see it's not showing the last file based backup because it's going to lose its backup configuration so for that we need to configure the backup once again so you can see it's have the configuration but it's forget about the backup which was taken before so I'm going to run a fresh backup and we'll see where it's going to store so encryption password and other details so I'm going to click start button once this inventory and configuration size is okay so you can see all the details and now I'm going to click start and it's going to take the backup in the same directory where the backup is previously stored we have three three backup for the last time and now it's going to run the fourth backup basically you can see here what is the folder name where the backup is going to be stored so at the last it's going to be 22 so we'll wait it's checking the DB health for the uh, for the database to check its uh, database health is good before it start the backup so it's going to take few seconds so now you can see backup data transfer is in progress so now we can go and verify the backup data so you can see the backup data is coming on this particular folder you can see the config file size is increasing now and it's going to take some time to finish the backup So now you can see the backup is completed and it's taken around 8 minutes to complete the backup and now if I go and see in Active Directory we got this folder where we have all the backup for which we have just completed so this is good and now uh, basically this is how you can backup and restore your vCenter server appliance by using file based backup. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.